Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new series on particle tracing for fluids in ComSol Multiphysics. In this particular series, we will be focusing on various scopes of modeling with this physics. This physics is commonly known as FPT in ComSol. So today's topic will be the introduction. We will be talking about what are the options available in particle tracing for fluids module and in what cases you can actually utilize it to do your research problems. So let us go to ComSol interface. So initially I click on model wizard. Again I can take 2D and we can look for the FPT in the fluid flow module. So in fluid flow if you go you will see there is one option that is particle tracing. You can see here this is the particle tracing option and in particle tracing we have various options like fluid particle interactions, fluid uh, particle tracing for fluid flow. For the time being we will be using this. So I click on it and then I click on study and choose the time dependent one. So that will take me to the ComSol interface having this particle tracing for fluid flow module. So whenever you want to know something about a physics just you have to right click on it and look for the options available. The most important thing is which equation it is solving under the physics. So initially you should look at the equation in the setting window. The equations are given. So let us look at the equation. So this is the equation. You can see that this equation is nothing but Newton's second law where MP is the mass of the particle. This V in bold letter represents the velocity vector and FT is the total forces. There might be different individual forces. So what you have to do is you have to take an algebraic sum of all the forces. Now as you can visualize it contains a vector V. So obviously it would have two components of velocity in uh, 2D and three components in 3D as currently we are dealing with 2D that is a 2D space. So it would be having x and y components so you can also check that in all the cases under the setting window you will be having this option dependent variables if you go to the dependent variables then you can see there are three velocity components vx vy and vz that means in the x y and z directions but obviously the vz would be zero because we are constricted to 2d coordinates now as we know in FPT we are solving the Newton's second law or force balance equations. Now obviously in the FT term you can put different forces that different forces can come from the user defined force. That means you can customize your force or some inbuilt forces which are available in ComSol multiphysics. So today's topic is what are the forces available by default here and those forces you can directly choose and you can solve for your particle flow or your 2D Newton second law. So as I have right clicked there will be an option forces under the forces you can see those are the forces available. So there are forces drag force obviously if you have a particle flowing inside a fluid there must be some drag and that's why this is very important pertinent to particle flow in fluids and lift force uh, this is also important for differently shaped objects so you can I mean you will be in need of using this yeah Brownian force as you understand if you are working in the micro domain particles in those cases thermal fluctuations are basic force I mean if you see any micro particles if you put those micro particles in water and put it under a microscope you can see random fluctuations and those random fluctuations come from the thermal force
forces and those thermal forces actually was those thermal energy are available from the atmosphere i mean at room temperature it contains certain energy or kt times energy and those are the causes of brownian force i am not going into deep uh, but the thing is you can model with the brownian force that is what it is gravity force obviously it is important because uh, uh, gravity is everywhere so if you are modeling a physical phenomenon then you should need gravity force sometimes so yeah it is available here acoustic forces so acoustic forces are important suppose if you are uh, looking into motions of particles under acoustic force in those cases this acoustic force is important so i'll be talking about all the forces i'll be doing individual simulations with all the individual forces but today we'll be just introducing you with this forces electric forces you know there are lorentz force in electric field we have all read about it but we'll be implementing it in upcoming simulations you have magnetic force if you have diamagnetic paramagnetic ferromagnetic particles it will experience different magnetic forces and that can be modeled using this fpt you have dielectrophoretic force uh, there is an inbuilt model in comsol that is the dielectrophoretic separation you can just look into the blog and this is very useful for learning electrophore uh, dielectrophoretic separation using particle in uh, fluid flow module you have magnetophoretic force you have thermophoretic force so all the forces which are relevant to your research problems are available here and you can do actually wonders with this particle flow module apart from this what you have is this is a re release release means when you are simulating in a particular solution space you need to release your particle at certain time so with the release option you can actually able to release the particle at different predefined times you have only important things i'll talk about today you have volume force calculations so yeah sometimes you need to put some forces and you need to have a check on it and then you can use this volume force calculations you have inlet outlet options so those are usual for fluid flow and as this is particle tracing for fluid flow you have those options so again i'm telling those options are similar to the fluid flow whatever in fluid flow you have used you can use it here that means you choose inlet you can put an inlet from your inlet the fluid can come in you can choose an outlet from the outlet your fluid can go out so those way another option is there release from grid this is very important i will be talking about it in a separate video that means you can actually choose the location of the particles or the initial locations of the particles how to do it i will be talking about it in upcoming videos you have uh, more important so yeah all the important options i have talked about and then i will be doing one by one simulations to understand and to explain it in a better way now uh, if i as a, as a whole if i just conclude so what kind of research problems you can model if you are working with uh, aquastrophoresis you can do your simulation if you are working with dielectrophoresis you have seen like you have options magnetophoresis brownian motions say you are working with uh, plasmonic active brownian motions or activated motions light active light induced motion so in that case what you can do is you can customize your light induced force and you can put it in the equation so if you see under forces you have one option force if i click on it you see you can actually put your forces here so that could be a kind of customized force as i have mentioned if you were trying to put your plasmonic force and if you have the equations with you you can actually integrate it in your simulation i can show other forces which are in bill suppose i put electric force so under electric force if you see there is an equation 
in equation as i have mentioned this is kind of low range force you all know about it low range force is equal to q e here q is written as e times of z so where e is the electronic charge and e is the electric field now this electric field you can solve for or you can actually in, in, uh, put it as an input like yeah here you have e you can put ex ey or ez or separately you can solve for your electric field say laplace equation or something and then integrate that in this area i'll talk about some other forces suppose you have your brownian force which is very important so in the brownian force if you look at the equation so this is the equation for the brownian dynamics you might know about this equation today i'm not going into details of all the equations but what i want to tell you is so this is inbuilt given and those parameters are in your hand those are the material properties like dynamic viscosity so you can put and you can actually opt for the brownian motions now i'll talk about another force which i find important say dielectrophoretic force if you look at the equation you can see those are the equations for dielectrophoretic force now what you should do is you should always look at the equations it is solving and then you can consult literature and you can actually try to understand whether the same equations are given or not so if you look at the literature for the dielectrophoretic force you will see dielectric for dielectrophoretic force look like this so what comsol does is comsol does a literature survey they they take equations from available articles and they put it in the simulation and that is the advantage of comsol you have predefined equations so you don't need to do your hard work for getting the equations because already those equations are given but you should know which equation you are solving because otherwise you may lead to false results so today i am stopping here i will be continuing with different forces and different simulations till then stay tuned and i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates